Welcome back to Demon Slayer Gamer Channel. We're going to be starting a new series here playing King Arthur Knight's Tale. This is a strategy turn-based kind of roguelike that has a ton of reviews on Steam that are very positive and I've seen just a tad of the gameplay and I am very excited. I think it looks really good. I think I'm going to really enjoy playing through this game and I hope you all will enjoy watching. Um, if you have any comments about the entire series, about anything that's going on, any questions or suggestions, please drop them down below. Let me know what you're thinking about the game or if you're enjoying it, if you're not, uh, or if you have any suggestions. But we're going to be starting a new campaign. And I am a big fan of these type of games. I've played a ton of them, so I think I'm going to start with the roguelite mode. I don't feel like we need classic mode. Uh, let's just, you know, our typical name that we put in here. Wake up, Knight. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king, you have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burn and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. You have killed King Arthur, and with his dying breath, struck you down. You both died. And yet, you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back to end this nightmare, so I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. So everything's our fault, but you bring us back to try and fix it, okay? Um, her voice is a little low. Turn her voice up some. Wait! Who the hell are you? I'm here to listen. 
teach you some manners, lad. Damn, that felt good. But where am I? I thought that dying could change a man, but I might be wrong. Hey, who's there? I, I can hear you. Let me out. Open the door, whoever you are. Help me, and I will help you. I'm missing all these. Dumb, dumb, I'm not clicking them. Basic controls, basic fight. So AP returns a return. Distance you can move. Select a skill. The area change both in shape and its color, showing you the range and AOE of the ability. Okay. Only equipped to manage your loot between missions. Okay. Well, well, well. So, King, King Arthur's son shall, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward. An honest and capable man. What of that? Down, like an untended blade. Sir Mordred, the Scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. Are you real? Or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred. Do you remember killing me? So this game has a lot of decisions. I feel like I'm going to try and not be a dick. So I'm going to try and go like the rightful, righteous path. And uh, so it has like two different systems that it will show. Um, one is going like righteous versus tyrant. And the other one is old faith versus Christian. I think I'm going to go righteous Christian. And uh, just for this playthrough, no particular reason. Just it's what I decided I wanted to do. Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. I've already told you. Avalon. The island of the Fallen Knights. And this is Castle Camelot. Yes. Not the one that you remember, though. Some of us are still waging a war. I fought and have been betrayed. You are familiar with betrayal, aren't you? This guy's got a lot of lip. And what is yours? Your bloodlust? Your savagery? Yes, I thought so. You think you're strong enough to fight the taint on this island? Great. That's my armor over there. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? We must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this. What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise! Surprise! Orientation. Character or orientation is vitally important in combat. Backsteps always deal extra damage, so pay attention to your hero's orientation before ending your turn. Okay.
Dieu, je, je le sais. This is the warden's room. Prepare for battle. Sir Kay, you are really persistent, but I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, Warden. Uh, what do we want to do? What am I missing? I'm missing. Overwatch allows you to select an area to guard. Our enemy enters one of the towers here, we'll execute a basic attack. Okay. What else did we miss? Reserve. Assume all remaining AP to say some for the next turn. The hero will gain one, two, or three bonus AP for one, three, or six AP reserved. All unused AP will be automatically reserved after the end of your turn. Okay. So if we want to let them come to us, we can reserve deal more attacks next turn. That'd be probably useful. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Vulnerability. Too late to run now. Now we should find the one who is truly in charge here. More moves to our cause. It's quite a crowd. You know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. Predictable battles. Explore the area before the battle towards you with information. The more deployment areas you discover, the more tactical options you have when combat begins. Also, you get like multiple deployments if you find them before the battle. That's pretty awesome. one will die first uh, I'll put one of them over here your highness Very nice. Quick, easy battle. What master do these soldiers serve, anyway? That would be Sir Tillerman. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my council now. So. 
as well. Traitor. You probably don't remember me. I am just a walking corpse cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. He is... He was Sir Tuellen, a once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. Does that make him noble because he had sons that were knights? Yeah, look at this guy in the flesh, having to serve him. Ooh, that sucks. I fell in battle like we all did, but instead of gaining new life in legendary Avalon. I've returned as a lost one. Let me rephrase it, traitor. Camelot is a sacred place reserved for the once and future king. That is the law. But I spit on the lords of the Lady of the Lake. Afraid of hair. Lost ones can't perish. This is our curse and blessing. If you can't perish, what would be the entire point of this game? Like, I'm fighting enemies that I can't kill? My sons are both full of life and hatred for each other. Whatever is awaiting for me here, I must face it alone. Balin and Balan are seeking their own fates now. Just as I do, destined to survive anything. He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. And the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Arthur is beyond the bridge of sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of midnight. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. He's real confident that he can't die. Too late, Romeo. Try hard. enough to kill me. Feel the pain. I'm right, pretty easy. The battle is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? All right, so we have the tyrant option here, and then we have the rightful option here. I think we're gonna go rightful, like I said, go rightful Christian.
right, so we got gold, we got building resources, armor potion, a couple sigils, it looks like. Everyone leveled up. We have a new main mission among the ruins. Sir K joined the court. Uh, we have skill points here. Let's go ahead and unlock his next skill. Shield charge. What about him? Unlock his next skill too. Just till we decide what we really want to do that at least gives us a something. Uh, it looks like they're like damage increases. Even if like this says plus two poison damage, we don't have poison damage, I don't think. But we'll see what that means for us. And they have all these traits too. Like he's a veteran. So when appointed as master arms in the training ground, gains grants every hero one percent mission experience after every mission they did not participate in. Fast metabolism after mission gain twenty percent maximum vitality. That's pretty nice. Talent learning active skills. Costs only one skill point for this hero. Okay, so that still leaves us one skill point. Uh, what do I do? Let's go raw damage. Yeah, let's just upgrade the raw damage. What's his, he's got five armor. He's got five armor. Uh, let's just give this to him for now. Gain three HP when drinking potions. Gain one unbreakable armor while in duel. What is duel? Let's see if we have any more. Uh, Serve, Overwatch, go battle, and deploy. Okay. I don't know what duel is yet. Morality events. During your journey, you'll have to make tough decisions that will affect the outcome of the story and your allied hero's loyalty. Here you can see the previous morality event choices. So every choice you make we're represented on the morality chart. You can unlock morality abilities and heroes that are unique to that alignment. So we have rightful ruler versus reckless tyrant and devout Christian versus follower of the old faith. So this side's Christian, this is rightful, old faith, tyrant. So we're gonna be working this way. So we should be able to get, if we just do these uh different decisions we should get all these rewards in this area that'll give us what five different heroes plus 10 percent damage to all heroes for the next battle merchant restock one mission faster heroes regain 50 percent valid vitality in the hospice okay just different rewards that we'll look forward to later on. Can't rebuild Camelot yet. We need 1,000 building resource. We have 300. So the only thing we can do is go to this next mission. Okay. Well, that's it for the first look at King Arthur Knight's Tale. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be looking forward to playing a lot more of this, so I hope you all stick around and watch some of it and let me know what you're thinking. But uh, I'll catch you on the next one.